Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Today I want to introduce this We Are You candle wick making machine. I was given this a couple of weeks ago and I should have really done something before now. However, I was busy doing other things except making candles with it. So for making other things, it's quite good for wax, for melting the waxes, for perhaps using floral waxes to make solid perfumes. It's well, actually, it's fantastic. But anyway, let me just show you all the things that I have made with this machine. From little candles, to coloured candles, to ca candles that I have embellished, to these candles, which I'm going to do something with very soon. Right, come over here and let me just introduce you to how this thing works if you've never seen it before. And you lift the lid and in the lid here you, uh, there's a little wee dish that is heated where you can melt your waxes. It comes with a kilo of wax which is this wax here which is the paraffin wax. Personally paraffin wax is what they use for making candles. I don't really like it and on the back of the little pack it has all of these dangers that comes with paraffin wax. So, I chose not to use that. I've, you can either use beeswax, which I've got here. I'll show you the beeswax. I buy mine from Pure Nature here in New Zealand, but you can get them on the, you know, Amazon and all over the place. But that's the pure beeswax, which I really love. And if you are vegan, the other thing that you can get is this wax here, which is the soya wax, which is nice lovely, it comes lovely and fine so you know it's nice to be using if, you, if you're vegan and you want to do something with soya. So I'm just going to ditch these because I don't really like them. So this in here, in this wee heating tray here, it holds a cup and once you turn it on don't walk away and leave it to melt because wax is a bit flammable and you know you just have to keep an eye on it. The kit also comes with these dies here. Um, to be honest, I didn't really like the dies because they were sort of like a little bit grainy. My next attempt was to put them into a little bit of oil and melt them and it worked perfectly. So with the three colours here, with your three primary colours and the white, you can, the sky's the limit with colourways. Um, if you didn't want to use those, I actually like to use the mica powders. I've got some gold here and into here, I'll show you this one here, I've got a pretty, pretty pink one, which I absolutely love to use for all sorts of things, from lipsticks to blushes to candle making, because you get a lovely glisten with it. Um, the other thing, you can add essential oils to it and you can colour it up whichever way that you want to do it. And the other thing that I made was these lovely little wee wax melts which I've used. I think I used the combination of the gold and the red mica to get this lovely shade and I also infused that with a little bit of essential oil of rose. Um, there's other things that you can do with it but first of all I'll just get on with this and I'll show you how to make... Um, well we, the candle making is pretty self-explanatory. You just put your wax in and you get one of these little molds. There's two sizes you get with the kit. There's this size um, which made this size candle or there is this size which makes this size candle here. So just to keep you up to speed. Um, if you wanted to make the candles bigger um, what I suggest you do is just put a little bit of wax into there and then join two together to get your height but you're still going to get this little wee join in here so you're pretty much governed by the height from the top down to the base down here and I'll just move that out the way so that you can see the little base down the bottom here so it also comes with an opening and shutting thing but I'll do that in a moment okay so it also comes with candle wick and it comes with a little bung that hold on I'll get to this bit here first so it also comes with starting again so it comes with these little wee things here um, which actually are for tying off your candle so you put your thread your, your wick through the bottom there and then onto here you tie it off at the top like so you need to 
but it gives you all the instructions on how to do this anyway. So that goes, and it's got little divity bits across, so that this can sort of sit into it. So once you've done that, you just pull that through, make sure that your wick at the top is sitting up, and then cut excess, add more, than, leave more than what you think you're going to need. And with this little bung here, that just like pushes into there, like so, and for obvious reasons, so that the wax doesn't run out. And then just put that across that little bit there, so that it is sitting straight. Make sure that's sitting up at this stage, but that's okay. So then from there, this goes into underneath here, just and then it just once you've got it in place, hold on, let me see there. Once you've got it in place, oh for goodness sake, you just twist that around. What have I done here? Once it's in there, oh for goodness sake, that goes down the bottom, that's why. And then that just locks into place. And then on the side here, it's got some temperatures around here. I put mine up to the maximum, but you can just adjust that to whatever you want once it's on. And then make it, it's got a little tap here of which you can open that trap door and then the wax runs out, just like so. Now, if you wanted to, so, and then you just pour it until you get to the, to whatever height you want. Now, if you wanted to color this, which you would have done before you got to here, if you can just into here, add a little bit of your essential oil. So just put some of that into there like so, like five drops is all I use for a, a, a candle this size. Now the other thing that you can do is into here, you can color this up whichever way that you want to and just give that a wee stir like so. Quite easy, the instructions will tell you what to do. But what I loved about this machine is that for specific candles that I wanted, and I've got a wedding coming up very, very soon, and my little bride has asked me if I could do her these candles here, which have got the rose petals in them. So it's just a matter of, what I did was, put your rose petals in, to here now so put a bit of wax in and then drop your rose petals into it and I used about a tablespoon I suppose of my dried rose petals in here to start with it's quite a fun project actually I quite enjoyed it when I started and then once that's in there it's just a matter of putting your candle in again and then with opening the little trap down the bottom here and you can see that's just the subtlest 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 colorway that I'm adding into that so I didn't want it to be too pink just sort of like a, a almost like a dirty rose pink so that just keeps running up to the top until you get it to the height that you want it and the little cavity inside whoops holds about a cup so once you've got to that stage just leave it be until it's set, but I'm going to take it out now because I want to show you also how to do the these, how to make these here, which were quite nice. But I'll put that there, get rid of this. And then to do the, the melts, all you need to do is put this underneath here and then just pour that off like so. Oh, it smells divine. So, you know, if you're wanting to make your own candles, it is a good way and then what of creating what you want and then with these um with these little molds here because this has been a bit sort of like battered around i actually put it onto a heavier surface so that i've got control over oh look at that how cool is that and with the mica in there it's so lovely and you can shade these up to whatever color you want and I've got room for just one little more. Now, when it comes to cleaning out your container, all I did was use, get this hot, and then just wipe it out with a handy towel. Don't put the wax down the sink because for obvious reasons, the wax will go hard and you'll block up your, um, your plumbing, and I don't think you want that. Now, the other thing, so once they have set, just leave them alone. Don't put them in the fridge, just leave them. Once they're done, it's just a matter of unscrewing the the base, taking the wee bung out, unscrewing the base, 
and then there is your candle and what I've done with this one here is I've just used different colors of wax just to see if I could get tri-colored because they said that you could the other thing I've done with this is I've put some coffee into it so it's exactly the same, so just put a little bit of wax in, put your coffee beans in, put your wax in, and to get the different colours, I, as I was going, I sort of like put the wax in, let it go hard, put another layer in, let it go hard, put another layer in, and let it go hard. And the other thing I've done with this is I've put some coffee essence and a little bit of chocolate, and later on I'll show you how to do something really cool and groovy for something for a male or something masculine for little table decorations. So there here we have the whole process of how the candle maker works and as I said I like that if I can't get a candle that I want I can find it but I can also use my candle wick maker for doing other things. Hope you've enjoyed that. I've really enjoyed um, getting to you know working out how this machine works so hope I've been of assistance I'll see you again another day.